it's not uh, easy to get published. There'll be all sorts of obstacles. Every writer knows about that. Every writer has experienced that. But the important thing is to have the courage of your convictions and to write from the heart. The thing that inspired me to create the number one ladies detective agency was the country of Botswana itself. I had lived and worked in Botswana and I thought one day I would write about it and I decided to write the story of a woman in Botswana who starts a small detective agency. That started as a short story but it became a series of novels and I've enjoyed every minute that I've spent writing about Mara Matswe, the principal character, and about the country as well. A Song of Comfortable Chairs takes us back to the office of the number one ladies detective agency where Mara Matswe, the owner of the business, is discussing the world with her assistant Mara Kutsi. And Mara Kutsi happens to mention that her husband's business, which is a furniture store, is not doing terribly well because there is competition from another store that is selling chairs. And that leads to an investigation by Mara Matsui as to how this other store is managing to sell the chairs at such a good price. And of course, that leads to all sorts of problems, which in the end are solved by Mara Matsui because she always solves everything. The attraction, in my view, of the detective novel is that it provides a vehicle for writing about both people and place. You can go into all sorts of details of the lives that people live there if you're writing about mysteries in people's lives. And also, you can set it in, in a place that is interesting. It has all sorts of possibilities for the exploration of human psychology. I suspect that many writers appear in the characters in their novels. It's very difficult to identify which particular character is oneself. I don't think I'd particularly like to do that, but I suppose I find that I agree with Mara Matsui on a whole range of subjects. In fact, we're in perfect agreement. So maybe there's some similarity between myself and Mara Matsui. I decided to set this series of novels in Botswana because it's a country uh, that intrigued me. It's a very beautiful country. Uh, it really is a lovely part of Africa. It's a country that has a tremendous natural beauty to it. And so I wanted to say something about that. But more than that, uh, I wanted to write about a very intriguing and attractive culture. When I lived in Botswana, I got to know people quite well, and I was struck by the very positive features of the local culture. The people are courteous, they're kind, uh, and I think that they have a lot to teach us, and that is why I really wanted to set these novels there. I write one of these books every year. A Song of Comfortable Chairs is volume 24, and so next year I'm planning to write volume 25. I haven't quite decided what is going to be in it yet, but I'm sure that that will come to me, the inspiration will come to me, and we'll be back there in Botswana with Mara Matsui and her friends celebrating 25 volumes of this rather long saga. The advice that I would give to anybody who is aspiring to be a writer or who has written a book and is wanting to develop their authorial career a bit further is to persist. That's the really important thing. Uh, it's not uh, easy to get published. There'll be all sorts of obstacles. Every writer knows about that. Every writer has experienced that. But the important thing is to have the courage of your convictions and to write from the heart write what you want to write about rather than what you think people will want to read uh, from your pen. So write from the heart and another bit of advice, if I may give two bits of advice, and that is after you've finished your first book, start immediately on the second because practice makes perfect. The second book will be better than the first. That's almost always the case. So persist and carry on and, and enjoy it.